YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be going over how you could be making a ton of coins tomorrow on Friday in EAFC. We're also gonna be taking a quick peek at the market and when I think the low is going to be. Also, full road to the knockout leaks have come out. But before we go over all that, we gotta talk about content today on Thursday. If you wanna have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Thursday was wild. People are finally getting the full game if you change your location. You get the game early, you get it midnight on Friday or midnight Thursday, however that works. So if people change their location to New Zealand, they were getting the game fairly early and a lot of people on the game, a lot of market movements. We got marquee matchups today, uh, broken again. I think it, they've been kind of broken recently and the Barcelona versus Sevilla one. I don't know if it was with Barca, but the Sevilla players, the men wouldn't work, but the females did. So the female Sevilla players, if we can pull them up real quick, it's ridiculous how expensive they are so liga f and sevilla let's just check their price maybe they're down a little bit right now how much are they nope they're like eight thousand coin i'm not not i'm not gonna say anything um that was marquee matchups brought supply brought packs onto the market and who the market moved the market moved like crazy today we're gonna get it we're gonna get into that like in a second but uh rest of content victor boniface this is bundesliga player of the month can we talk about this card design it is gorgeous this card design is incredible i love it i cannot wait for more bundesliga player of the months in the future decent looking card i mean i don't think i'm gonna do them 85 185 minimum 83 overall squad he's really cheap but i mean he's not going anywhere near my team so uh, I it's not, I don't think I'm doing them. I'm not doing them. So that was content. Also, I want to mention the Nike Mad Ready objective that's expiring tomorrow on Friday at Content Drop. If you want to get it done, you have until then to do it. You can do it with a friend, play 20 games, and boom, done. I think if you do 10 games, give your friend 10 wins, he gives you 10 wins, that's the objective done. And you get a, well, no, because you have to play the 20 games. So, you know, quitting. But uh, you get a bunch of packs for it. You get an 85 times two when you finish it in a lone Nike Mad Ready player pick. I think it's worth it. I got Marcus Rashford for my 85 times two. I packed Ederson and I packed Benzema. So, you know, some decent packs if you want to get that objective done. Just giving you guys a heads up. Now let's talk about the market. Everyone on the game, full release. The market. Wow, today it tanked absolutely crashed in price let me pull up footbin real quick for you guys it was um it was something it was something you'll see some of these prices real quick we made a lot of coins off of it i don't want to go talk about it a crazy amount just because oh we made this much we did this but if you're on that content drop we were calling out players on sufati a lot of rebounds especially on like some of these lower tier cards because you know you have people that are getting the game. Everyone's getting on the game. They get it at midnight or if they, you know, change their location. So they are going to be buying these lower tier cards. Someone like Ansu Fati was down at 5,500 coins and his bids were like 5,000 coins. So we picked up a bunch of Ansu Fati's. He's rebounded. Another one was Alex Balde, low budget. This guy, super easy to buy. 2,800 coins. He was down at 2,000 coins. And it was just really easy to pick some of these cards up, especially for people on a low budget. We saw some fodder get cheap. 84s. If you look at cheapest player by rating, 84s weren't even selling. They were min price. They're up a little bit now. It was wild. 87s are below 10K now. 88s, they were like 16K. They dropped down to 14K. I was getting for 13K, listing for 15. A lot of coins to be made in bids. Guys, bids. I've told you with supply... And trading on Friday was going to be really easy because of all the supply and bidding. It was crazy today. The bids were wild. And that's what you guys are going to be doing to make a lot of coins tomorrow on Friday. Getting on bids, buying the lows. We had situations where uh, there was a guy in the stream that got Rodrigo on bid for like 30,000 coins. We had people getting Rolfo on bid for pretty much mint price. Another person got Rolfo on bid for 17k. It's just getting on bids tomorrow on friday you will be rich if you get on bids we saw 
we saw it somewhat today. We saw a big market crash. What we saw today, I'd probably somewhat expect to see tomorrow. So today on Thursday, tomorrow on Friday, probably going to be similar to how today went with the market crashing at content drop. I expect that. And then, you know, a rebound, but bids an hour after content drop. Think about it at content drop. It's one o'clock for me. Content drops, new promo, bunch of packs being opened, new promo packs, whatever it is, lots of supply. You have to wait an hour for the bids to pop up. And when those bids pop up, you can get insane deals. I got an 88 overall card on bid for, I think like 8,000 coins and I sold it for 15,000 coins. So a lot of coins to be made tomorrow on Friday. Before we go, let's go into how you're going to do that. So an hour after content, it's you can pick a filter or you can pick a player. It's really it's not complicated at all. Pick a player. How do I pick a player? Here you go. Go on Footbin. You see any of these cards? Go ahead and bid on them. Want to bid on Ansu? Go for it. Want to bid on Rafael out? A little high. Maybe try to bid on players below 100,000 coins. Someone like your rente would be good. Someone actually won your rente. Let's pull this up. This is actually what the bids were like. This is perfect because I can show you guys. This is a great example. Let me find where it is. Here's the Rodrigo. For any of you that might be like, bro, that's cap. No way. That's the Rodrigo. 34,000 coins on bid today. And where's this your rente? Boom. Here's your rente on bid for 2,300 coins today. All you have to do is pick a player that's it or you can do a filter like i pulled up a filter where i just went min price 5100 and i upped the max price so i could be i didn't even up the max price i really kept it around 5100 so min price 51 max price like 6k and that's the start price for 88 overall cards i think is that 88 or 87 it's 88 or 87 i don't know which one it was but i just did that and i was going through and just bidding on those cards bid 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 really easy it's not hard to make coins just an hour after content drops. So if content drops at one, get on bids at two o'clock. It, it really starts more at like 203. It takes a few minutes for everything to start coming through. So like 203 to 230, you have like a half hour window, just bid like crazy. You will get some really good deals. Now let's talk about the market. Uh, obviously today market crash, there's been rebounds. We're making good coins on that. I think the market right now is going to continue to rise. We can actually look on Footbin at the market index real quick. And you'll see, you see how the day went perfectly. So content drop crash, and we're in the bit of the rebound right now. So I think this rebound can, wow. In the icons rebounded very well. We traded with some icons. If you were in the stream, it was, I mean, if we see drops like this again tomorrow, buy them the icons today were great we have sawa right here this girl was like eight hundred and eighty thousand coins you can see eight i think 880 it, it, it was on the market for like 20 minutes it wasn't even selling so we're gonna try to watch some icons tomorrow but back to the market index i think what we're gonna see is as more people midnight comes around more people get on the game we are going to see the market rise as they start to get on buy these players for their team we're, I mean, we're seeing the rebound. You can see it right here, the market rebound, but then content drop tomorrow. I think you guys should be out of whatever cards you have. Say you have Rofo, say you have Ansu Fati, say you have Danjuma, Werner, cards. I'm selling pretty much everything. I don't want to have cards going into content drop on Friday because it's really the first promo of the game with Road to the Knockout. There's going to be a lot of packs being opened. You have everybody on the game. So, and people are saving packs for this promo as well. There's quite a few people actually saving packs for this road to the knockout promo so a lot of supply i would expect this kind of a drop again tomorrow on friday and you can invest in that invest in that low you can be buying the players for your team you can be buying the players to make coins whatever it is i think the low will be tomorrow on friday and then from there, I think we can start to see the market rebound, especially as the week goes on, as we approach Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we approach the first foot champs of the year. I think we are going to see the market rise into that. So Friday, tomorrow, if you want to be buying your team, you want to be investing, making some coins, it's probably going to be a good time. I will be live streaming as well on Twitch. If you have any questions about filters, players to be bidding on, is this a good price? Should you wait? Whatever it is during the stream, you can ask away. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a really good day for making coins. Today was really good. I've been 
lazy. I, I mean, you can't even see some of the stuff I did earlier. All the 88s I sold. I bought so many 88s. I spent so many coins on 88 overall cards for 13,000 coins max. And I sold them all for 15K. I made 1,000 coins per card. I probably sold at least 30 of them. And then I also made a big investment. I bought Erling Holland gold card. He was 420,000 coins. I picked one up. I think he's already 470. I think he could rise a lot being out of packs. The only issue is I don't want to keep my coins in a card like this. I could use those coins better off trading elsewhere. And I don't like him in my team. If I liked him, I would keep him. But I, I don't like this Holland. I was actually getting pissed on stream playing with him. So Erling Holland, he's already up a good amount making good coins there. If you have a card like Holland, you could probably just hold. If you do see a dip on him, maybe before he goes out of packs, you could probably buy that dip. I do think he could rise a good amount being out of packs for a week. So markets, we talked about the bids. We talked about the dip. Uh, we're going to see the market probably rise tonight. I'm going to sell my cards before content drop tomorrow. And um, yeah, we'll have the rebound. So we talked about what to bid on. We went over. You can just pick a card or get on a filter and selling the cards before content you want coins you know even if you're like oh maybe i'm losing coins on my rofo i don't want to sell them before content drop you're going to want coins to trade on friday it's it's going to be a great day to make coins so what am i doing right now to make coins as well while i'm waiting and this market is settling down i've been lazy listing i have my erling holland investment he's continuing to rise i have some of these enzo fernandez's i'm getting out of i bought them for like 22k but i've sold so many of him for like 26 27k that's not even what he's going for it's just so many people are buying them to get the objective done but at the moment it's fairly easy to trade mass bidding is really simple you can pick a card find a gold rare that sells for around a thousand coins and just bid on it for less i think lamar might be doable let's check lamar out i'll take a peek here this is i mean really low budget lamar is actually back up a little bit 950 but let's see can you win him on bid for maybe 650 this these are the kind of cards that i've been watching but what i've been doing it, that stuff like that is good for low budget you have to find the card that works so it's a perfect spot is someone that sells for like 900 coins and you can get on bid for 600 or 650 and just keep doing over and over and over again i looked at um oh, who was it today that looked really good I can't remember. It was it was a low rated card though that was on bid for 600 and he was selling for I think 850. But here we go. So what I've been doing is 84s. I've been picking up 84s for 1200 coins on bid. It's fairly easy to do. I you sometimes have to bid a little far out cuz the bids a lot of people have bid through on them. But someone like Tiago Silva, uh, Tiago Silva, Tiago. What is his last name? Alcon something? Alcantara? He's actually up a little bit, so I'd probably have to buy for like 1,300. But I've been buying players like this for 1,200 coins on bid, and I've just been listing for 1,500 coins. And I'm making about around 250, I think, per card. And it's just easy. It's easy profit, simple. Fill my transfer list with cards like this. If I can have 100 of them, sell 100 of them an hour, that's 25,000 coins an hour. So fairly good. If you want to fill your transfer list with some 84s, lazy listing like that, I like it. I don't see you really risking much buying them for 1200 coins because 1100 is their min price so if you want to do that good move investments as well i want to mention investments that you guys can do tomorrow is friday full release everyone's on the game sbc solution cards are going to be doing good again so if you want to pick up sbc solution cards that are really cheap commonly used in sbcs it's not a bad idea the sbc that we are talking about for sbc solutions is hybrid league and here we go to completed challenges for the first 11 SBC. And here are the players commonly used. Van de Sanden has been used quite often. I know Van Ewick has been used quite often. You want to find some of the players that are, I should say, there are some that are used often, but they don't go up too much. I think this Nopert might be a good one. Is he one of the only Dutch rare goalkeepers? It's him and Flecken. But Flecken's Premier League, Nopert is an off league, so he gets, he's not off league, he's Eric the Bizet, but I see Nopert in like every single solution when it's Dutch. So that's that. Just pick up some of these SBC cards. It's pretty zero risk. You can pick them up for 600 coins. Let's see how much Nopert's been going for lately. He, this dude's literally min price. So maybe avoid some of the cards that are like min, little, little up and down. 
Uh, who's a card I know that has been used quite a bit? We have a Bueller. She's in solutions quite a bit. Just find some SPC solution cards. And if you want to stock some of them, it's not a bad idea. You could also just say, mm, maybe I don't want to do that. I'm just going to SPC solution trade this weekend. You can do that as well. And yeah, here's Bueller. Whenever you can get this Bueller for like 650, she's usually a pretty good buy. So if you can do that, there, there's a bunch of SBC cards. There's literally a full list of them in the VIP Discord that you can go through and check their graphs. Let's take a peek at the leaks now. That's basically it for the market and trading. I've been doing the 84s. You guys should have your cards sold before content drop tomorrow on Friday and expect to make a lot of coins. You should be bidding. You should be buying the dip. We should hopefully be making a ton of profit tomorrow on friday now overnight flips potentially could be good too but i'm going to be doing that in the youtube video for friday anyway road to the knockout full team elite here we go erling holland bruno fernandez oshiman bukayo saka bonucci huth depaul mertens openda lamer kalulu weefer machado luis diaz goncalves silly dilly jekyll and dodo so there's some really solid looking cards here. Erling Holland is, is ridiculous. His stats are cracked. I think people were saying the Paul might be an SPC, so that'd be kind of sick. His card, they're not in that hard of a group, so he could easily get some good upgrades. I think the upgrades as well, I think it's the exact same as it was last year. So it's like how many group stage games you win or whatever, and then going to the next stage so you can get is it i think it's two upgrades in total and with that as well it's nice to know it's like inform upgrades it's not plus one so someone like an 81 an inform upgrade for dodo would bring him to an 84 and then the second inform upgrade for dodo would bring him up to an 86 same thing with silly dilly so remember that it is if you see some of these road to the knockouts too cheap you know double inform upgrade they can upgrade and become nasty this dodo would be plus five in every single stat he'd probably be cracked 95 pace 80 defending 80 physical he'd be a pretty cracked card so just wanted to throw that out there as well and i believe that is it did we go over everything marquee matchups content market crash today it was a great day for trading and it's probably what happened today is going to be very similar to what happens tomorrow and we can hopefully make a ton of coins yes i could be wrong on how i think the market's going to move but i think it's a fair assumption that at content drop ton of packs get opened and we can buy the dip and trade an hour after content hour after content is going to be a gold mine hopefully SBC solution trading picks up but guys any questions let me know in the comment section down below my fifa not fifa eafc trading discord and my twitch live stream in the description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace